Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Dear viewers, now we will go for response spectrum analysis with LRB isolator damper, lead rubber bearing isolator damper in ETAPS. So first of all, we will design the LRB isolator according to UVC 97 using the maximum particle load for internal column. For internal column here, I have found 1825.5 kilo Newton. So I have used this one, this value. Then I have designed the LRB isolator. Here is the design and side there is design or formula. At last we have got our isolator design. This is the design value for the dimensions of LRB isolator or damper and input values for SAP and ETAPS this is the input value I will show how to input those values in ETAPS support in ETAPS and SAP both case this uh, input method is same and second one Design the LRB isolator according to UVC 97 using the maximum particle load for external column. For external column, I have found maximum value is 1382.15. This one, this value I have used here and I have calculated the other required values at the input for ETFs. Or SAP and this is the LRB for external columns. Now we will define the support properties. This is uh, with fixed base. Now we will go to RSA with LRB. Here go to base. Now we will go to define section link or support properties. Modify this one. LRB LRB internal link type will be rubber isolator rotational inertia we will get this one from above above this PDF file I will share with all of you in the description box there will be the link you can download it and you can use it for other projects finally this input value you will get rotational inertia one this one copy paste remember that the hair unit is kilonewton meter This E1 effective stiffness. Copy. Here direction U1, U2, U3, and now linear for U2 and U3. Here effective stiffness test here. This is the value, and this one effective damp damping here. In this case will be 0 for u2 and u3 direction that will be 5 percent u2 and u3 here effective stiffness this one effective damping here 0.05 share deformation we got here this one nonlinear properties this nonlinear one zero eight three one yield strength thirty four point seven seven and post yield stiffness ratio here we have used
this one post yield stiffness to pre stiffness ratio in 0.1 so this one we will use here 0.1 okay for u3 we will use the same value copy control c control v this one 0 0.05 stiffness here nonlinear 1031 strength 34.7 and stiffness ratio 0.1 okay and then click on okay and and copy of property here we will use LRV external here we will get the second value for external copy paste here and for U1 For U1 effective stiffness, copy, paste here, okay. U2 here, copy, paste this one, okay. And the distance will be copy, copy here. Nonlinear 8201 will strength 26.27. So, okay, then U3 here, same Here three one eight. This one eight two zero one twenty six point two seven. Okay, click on okay. Then okay. First, we will define the spring properties also. See here in the process procedure, I have mentioned. Point spring, define point spring, add new property. This P internal here we will specify the link properties. Add this will be internal and axial direction will be positive Z. Okay, and add copy of property. The external we we'll use here external okay point is pink this internal apply and for the external column we'll select this one apply so here p internal and p external point is spring here is our damper support here uh, fixed support also there we will delete the support here go to assign restrain apply okay so now 
the fixed support deleted and rubber LRB isolator assigned in our building or structure support now what we will do assign this we have done finished redefine seismic loadings for according to UBC code UBC 97 isolated see here I close this model for comfortability now I'll go to define load pattern here I will change this here 2.5 this one we will use for same that one there will be additional uh, coefficient for the rubber isolator now close here this one UBC 97 isolated modify load here X direction here S D three is to step top over strength factor I I R I in fixed base support that is eight point five here for all cases it will be two coefficient for damping here we have taken we have found from the UBC table BD or BM one we use one for five percent damping maximum effective stiffness we we can provide here this one 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 seven five okay and this one also same isolated modify load modify lateral load here we will keep y direction sd three a two one this one maximum elliptic stiffness okay done and previously we have assigned our model cases this one i have shown it before then we have choose our function ubc 97 rs this one okay now we can go for our analysis it will take time So after finishing the analysis, we will check the results. Different shape for mod number. This is the mod using the LRV isolator. You can check with the mod number one with fixed base support. this okay and we can check the analysis result study forces Here we can choose only our response spectrum and for this these values we can compare with the fixed support model result. History stiffness 
story displacement so all the result you can we can export it into our excel sheet and we can compare the result with fixed base support model and this lrb support supported model now here you can see after running the analysis review the result following results are shown from different project arranged in excel tab similarly we will see the difference between model 1 with fixed base and model 2 with lrb isolator from results we will find less variation in history share history drift base share in second model second model will show more displacement for flexible support but the variation in max maximum displacement of histories in base isolated model is very low while compared with fixed base model here the comparisons you will see from the two model type now at the last we will come for the conclusion history share reduced after the lead rubber wearing lrp is provided as base isolation system which reduces the seismic effect on building base share is also reduced after providing LRP which makes the structure stable during earthquake. Story drift are reduced in higher stories which makes the structure safe against earthquake. Point displacements are increased in every stories after providing LRP which is important to make a structure flexible during earthquake. Mode periods are increased which increases reaction time of a structure during earthquake. Finally, it is concluded that after LRB is provided as base isolation system, it increases the structure, structure's stability against earthquake and reduces reinforcement, hence make structure economical. So in design also, we will get a lower reinforcement requirement using this base isolation system. And the calculation we have done, reference is UBC 97 and design of uh, seismic isolated structure from theory of practice by James M. Kelly and Farjat 9. This PDF I will attach in the description box below the tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe my channel for more important tutorials and share this tutorial with your colleagues or friends who is studying on civil engineering. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update.